it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, I'll show you how to animate a sound wave image so that it changes into different colors as music plays. Let's get started. So I'm going to actually flip over with my control tab to a blank presentation. So we're going to get started by inserting an image and I'm going to go ahead and select insert pictures and I've downloaded a sound wave image from Pixabay. So I'm going to go ahead and click that image and I'm going to go ahead and resize it so that it encompasses my whole slide. So first I'd like to remove the black background image because I just want the background to be white for now. So I'm going to go ahead and click remove background from the format tab and that's a nifty tool in PowerPoint and it doesn't do a bad job. It's not perfect. Um, as you can see, like the edges sometimes are just not perfect, but it will suffice for what we need. Okay, so everything in the purple is going to be removed. I want to click Keep Changes, and now my background is white. And I just want to move that over just oh so slightly. Okay, so in order to change the colors, there is in the, t in the format tab, there's a color pull down that has some options. Now it is somewhat limited, so you may need to prepare your image in different colors in an outside editor. Uh, but for purpose of today, I'm just gonna change the color to this like yellow gold. And that will do, and I've prepared some other colored images that I'm going to uh, show you shortly, but for now, I'm just gonna keep that gold image. You could also play around with the um, in corrections. You can make it like a little lighter or darker, and there's other picture correction options in here. But for now, I'm gonna keep that gold color and the next thing I want to do to my image is I want to add a fade effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click animations fade. Okay. And next what I want to do is in the timing group, I want to click after previous. And the reason is because when I duplicate my image and change it to different colors, I want it to automatically switch to another image and not have to click, etc. And finally, I want to change the duration. I'm going to change that to about 1.25 seconds. So next, I want to duplicate my image. So let me just go ahead and select my image. And to quickly duplicate, just hit Control D for duplicate. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that several times. And the reason I'm duplicating it is because I've already applied the fade effect and the timing, etc. So now all I have to do is go to each of my images and change the color. Okay, so here's a slide I've prepared with images already in different colors. And I actually have one, two, three, four, five showing, but I've copied and pasted those. You can't see them because they're behind these. I actually have 10 images all together and I've just duplicated these five. So next what I need to do is stack the images in the exact same position. So first I'm gonna select all my images with Control A, and next from the Home tab in the Arrange pull down, I'm gonna select Align, Align Center, and next I'm gonna click Arrange, Align, Middle. And now it gives the illusion of just that there's one image there, but there's actually 10 images all together, and I'm almost ready for my animation. Let's give a preview and see how it looks before we add the music. I'm gonna click Animations, Preview. Okay, it's uh, looking pretty good, and I just need to make a couple more changes. Next, I want to add some music. I'm going to go ahead and click Insert, Audio, Audio on my PC, and I have a few MP3 files that I've downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and pick this particular MP3 and click Insert. 
Okay, and the audio object appears, and I will hide that in the background shortly. But first, I'm going to make a couple changes. I want the music to play in the background automatically, so I'm going to click from the playback tab here. I'm going to click play in background, and when I do, you'll notice that the play across slides and loop until stop are automatically checked now. And finally, to hide the audio object here, because when I click off of it, you'll see that if you don't hide it, it'll just stay there as the animation plays. Just right click and click send to back, and then just hide it back here, and you'll be able to see it. Okay, well, my animation is finished. I'm going to go ahead and play it as the music plays as I end the video, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, remember to click like, and if you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.